If you are a manager in charge of a sales team, you may find the pie chart as a super helpful tool for analyzing sales performance. A pie chart represents the individual contribution of each salesman to the total sales. This will help you quickly identify top performers and areas for development. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi. Your day-to-day -day Excel and VBA tutorial helpline. This is Hadi Ulbasher and today I will show you how to make a pie chart with breakout in Excel. So without further delay, let's dive into this topic. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. So what exactly do I mean by a breakout? A breakout is simply a section of Excel data. For example, we have sales data of 2022 that includes the salesman names and their respective sales amount in the four quarters. These four quarters represent four breakouts. Now, I will make a pie chart with breakouts using this data set. Let's create the pie chart for the first breakout. Select the worksheet. In this worksheet, select cells B4 to C10. Click on the Insert tab. In the Charts group, click on Insert Pie or Donut Chart. This will open some available options of the pie chart. In my case, I will select the 2D pie chart. Place the pie chart beside the data set so that we can get a clear view of the data set. Now, I will customize this pie chart. I can do this in two ways. As we can see that the chart design contextual tab is selected, we can move to the chart layouts group and select the add chart element option. This will show all the available options to customize the chart. Alternatively, I can click on the plus sign which represents the chart elements to customize this pie chart. Check the data labels. Click on this arrow. This will open all the available options of the data labels positions. In this case, I will select the inside end option. This will set the data labels inside the pie chart. That's it. This completes the pie chart for the first breakout data set. Now let's move to the second breakout worksheet. Select the worksheet. Select cells B4 to B10. Press and hold the control key. Select cells D4 to D10. Click on insert tab. In the charts group, select insert pie or donut chart and select the 2D pie chart. Place the pie chart beside the data set. Click on the chart elements option. Check the data labels. Click on the arrow. This time, let's select the outside end option. This option will set the data labels outside the pie chart. Now let's move to the third breakout worksheet. Select the worksheet. Select cells B4 to B10, press and hold the control key. Select cells E4 to E10. Now select the insert tab. In the charts group, select insert pie or donut chart. Select the 2D pie chart. Place the chart beside the data set. Click on chart elements. Check the data labels. Click on the arrow. This time, let's select the data callout option. This option will create a data callout around the pie chart. So our third breakout data is represented in this pie chart. We will now work on the fourth breakout worksheet. Select the worksheet. Select cells B4 to B10. Press and hold the control key. Select cells F4 to F10. Click on the insert tab. In the chart section, click on insert pie or donut chart. Select the 2D pie chart. Place the pie chart beside the data set. Click on the chart elements. Select the data labels. Click on the arrow. In this case, I will stick with the default position of the data labels that is the best fit position. And the pie chart that represents our fourth breakout data is complete now. I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for making a pie chart with breakouts in Excel. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions, or feedback in the comment section below. To check out our Excel blogs, you can visit exceldemy.com. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye!